Hi, my name is Pixel and I'm a variety streamer on Twitch and this is my little video on how I use Streamerbot. So I've recently migrated over to Streamerbot after using Sammy for a long time um, and this is my little video on how I use it and some of the things that I've learned that maybe you guys might find interesting. So this is my Streamerbot as you can see. I've got some point rewards, I've got some sounds and I've got some raid actions. So this is just some of the things that I've got that you guys may want to implement onto your stream and this is how I did them. So first off, we had some ad actions. We all hate ads, and this is my way of telling my community, uh, my viewers, if there's an ad coming up and what to do if they get an ad. So I have two ads. I have an ad break and an ad break coming. My ad break coming gives them a one minute notice that there's an ad coming up and I'm sorry, not much I can do about it. But if you do get caught, this is what you can do just to let me know so I can maybe pause the stream until you get back. And then I have ad break, which is, I'm sorry, there's an ad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So what do I do to get these? As you can see on the right hand side we have triggers and we have subactions. Triggers are what tell the program that this is happening and you should run the subaction. And the subaction is what you want the program to do. So my triggers is trick, add, add run and is it enabled. So this is how we make it. We right click and as you can see we've got OBS, we've got Steam Labs, we've got Agato and we've got Twitch and YouTube and some various other programs. Uh, we went to Twitch ads and as you can see we've got ad mid roll ad run and upcoming ads considering this is the one for ad break we go for ad run and it just adds it there's no other thing to complicate this and then for our sub actions it's a twitch announcement in chat so again we right click as you can see we've got the same listing here we go to the right and as you can see we got chat and i made my announcement you can make yours a, just a normal message but i made my announcement so everyone can see it so again we right so we left click it, we don't right click it, we left click it and, and we get this Twitch announcement. The bot, I haven't really noticed any difference, it just does it in your stream name, which I like because it means I can use my own channel emotes. And then you write your message here, right? So it could be anything. Oh no, add. And then we click OK and then it comes here. But as you can see, I've already got mine, double click it and oh no, an ad is playing. Please use exclamation mark add if you get caught in it. So basically now get an ad and it will tell people if they're even if they are a prime uh, that there's an ad and I'm sorry and I will try and really try maybe to pause the stream for a bit like have a little rest until everyone who is not subbed can come back to the stream. And then for ad break it's the same thing except for triggers we go to Twitch again ads and it's upcoming ad and this one's slightly different because we click on it and it gives us a set amount of minutes so mine is a minute before so I tell the, the viewers that there's a minute for the ad to come and you can choose whatever five four three two one I chose one and then you just click OK and again with the Twitch announcement or Twitch chat and then again put what you want and if you want to put emotes in go to your chat click the emote that you want and it should have the little um, I don't know how you call it the little text announcement like rather than the emote it should have the twitch text on what it is and you can copy and paste that i'm bad at describing things i'm sorry i don't know why you're watching this so next we have points rewards so i have check-in first and then i have some hello sounds that people like to spam uh, my check-in one is first as you can see it's a little bit more complicated there's more sub actions to it again triggers see twitch and you go to uh where was it now <laughs> channel reward and then channel reward redemption and you here will bring up all the uh, channel rewards that you have are currently if you have them through Twitch but you can actually create them on this program itself so this one is clock in so I click that and okay and then it adds it but we don't need another one we're good you can also create the reward yourself by clicking create reward and then you put in the title your prompt and then this is where you can get your counter for per user so persist per user counter and then it will if you click this it then tallies up each time that person has used that reward this brings it so in chat it will tell the uh, viewer how many times they clocked in and it might be a little embarrassing it might not be but i thought it's a fun little way just to see um and i do this with first as well so it tells the uh the user how many times they were clocked in first to the channel so the sub action for this is a little bit more complicated. I cleared up the action cube because mine is a visual thing that comes up on stream. I will link a video down below that I use to do this. Honestly, I recommend it. It is so much fun and it gives the viewer a little bit of chance. They can see their name on stream and they get a little hi emote that pops up also. But again, 
we have like the Twitch message that comes up in chat because uh, which if I click on this we have some variables now this is a little bit complicated I got mine off um, stream elements um, when you do your uh, timers and all that there is a variables page I will link that also uh, that gives you all these I think there is a streamer bot um, Wikipedia type thing I will also link that hopefully I don't forget these are little things that put in and it tells the um, streamer bot who has the person who has requested this so the target user so when you put in chat it will bring up the person's name who has requested this through the channel points and then user account so I decided that I wanted to every time somebody checks in it will tell them how many times they've checked in to stream I also have first which is what I just told you about and then I have some sounds which is a, a, again it's just like a hello and it's a sound that they can play for one time when they get in so it knows that so I know that they've got in to the stream it's kind of fun it can be a little annoying sometimes if they spam them but it, can, it it is fun so next i have raid actions and this is super handy if you haven't got any mods in at the time of streaming so triggers twitch and raid so if we go to twitch and raid and as you can see we got raid raid cancelled raid start raid send i got that the one we read we click raid and that all the amount of how many people that's raid that depends on to you i just generally put not to like 10,000 whatever you want what did I do actually on this one let's see oh I didn't actually do any it turns out you probably don't need any um and then I've my sub action is I actually delay it by 20 seconds uh because I don't want this action to be immediately spam the chat and then my sub action is a twitch announce so as you can see here it announcements and it does my little um emotes as you can see it's done them in text form and it says hello raiders my name is pixel and i'm a variety streamer here on twitch and it just gives them the details in chat so it doesn't spam it uh but it does a little announcement after people come in about 20 seconds so it in so you've got that little communication before i had a little button out to press which is a little bit annoying and it's nice how, that it's done automatically now and then the next one i have is the raid shout out with pictures which is a shout out command um that does a little picture on screen again i will post the link to the video that i found how to do this with because it's very handy and it's pretty unique and then i have my little browser sources on obs uh which is pretty cool again i will post the link in the video down below thing i don't know and then this one is start right this is a new one that i've actually literally just done today um again it's the same triggers but this time instead of raid we do a raid start and actually yeah i don't need to add anything to that and then it'll do an a twitch announcement for me which is what i wanted and then i did a my little call to raid and it does post the announcement on what you want people to do when they go over there so like just say hi and that kind of stuff so there's a little less things for me to do when i'm trying to raid and it can all be a little bit um stressful when you're trying to sort out a raid so it's one less thing to think about so next are my sounds. Uh, these are the basic ones I've got so far. Bond, claustrophobic, drama, danger, ooh, David, just to name a few. So to do this, we have core commands. So we right click, go to core, command and command triggered. And it brings us back to this page again. As you can see, I've got my pre-existing ones. So we're just going to make a random one off the bat. So we click make command and then we have our name. So we go test. That's just for us to know so we can see it here. And then on commands, I do exclamation mark test or whatever you want that way the, the command to be used. So you can have the location anywhere you want it to be or at the start. I keep mine at the start. And then who is available to use this command? So I want it to be just subscribers. So I just click it and it brings it over to here. So that means only subscribers can use that command. And then we also have individual users. So you can add a user I'm not logged in at the moment, there's nobody here, so I can't really add anyone just yet, but you can just have an individual person to use that command if you want dedicated commands. And on here, as you can see, we've got sources, so mine is going to be through Twitch message, and then we have, again, the user accounts if you want to use, this person has used this command to min list many times, you can do that again, again, but you need to put the Twitch variable here, so the user variable here, and then click OK. So sub actions, we go to core, sounds play sound and as you can see we have the application on what you want it to go through and then you click the sound on the file that you want and then the volume of it and then click okay as you can see mine is uh bonk 
200% because I wanted it to be a little bit louder. But you can also change the sound when you put it on OBS as well. So you can have it loud on here and slightly do slightly quieter through OBS. It's up to you. So this is my streamer bot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is the first type of the video I've made of this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, very nervous going into this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do any more or go into any more detail, let me know and I will have a go. Um, but yeah, I thought, why not? A friend, fellow streamer wanted to know how, what I used. So I kind of was like, you know what? Let's make a video and I'll do a basic show you. And I hope it's enjoyable and you might learn something. I don't know. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please go follow my Twitch. It'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, have a good evening. I'll see you guys later. Bye.